Gauteng Acting Health MEC Jacob Mamabolo has backed calls by Transport Minister Fikile Mbalula for a review of the country's alcohol laws. Mamabolo says recent statistics prove that there's a direct correlation between alcohol consumption and increasing trauma cases in hospitals. The MEC joins us tonight. Good evening and thank you so much for your time on News at Prime. Firstly, tell us more about this uh, study or this research you've been conducting. Well, uh, <clears throat> firstly, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Good evening to all the viewers. The, let me just confirm that, yes, uh, the statement that the uh, Honorable Minister of Transport has made with respect to uh, almost bringing to a zero level or zero rating the amount of alcohol that people could take and drive. I think that point is absolutely spot on and is correct, and we're looking forward to it being enforced as a matter of agency, because it will definitely serve as a deterrent um, with respect to the difficulties that are brought to bear uh, on all of us, on the economy, on institutions, and, and so on and so on. So to that extent, we in the, in, I mean, with respect to health facilities, um, we have also just got information comparing uh, the previous years uh, numbers of um, um, you know admissions, and we have also looked at different periods during uh, alert levels from five to the current one. What has been the uh, rate of admissions when the ban on alcohol has been uh, lifted and when it was imposed? And uh, we did a detailed breakdown per hospital. And it has shown that indeed uh, there is a direct relationship between um, the activities that happens when people are under the influence of alcohol and the pressure it brings to bear on the health facilities and most importantly on our health workers. And uh, it is in that context really that from both transport and health, including the pressure on the road accident fund, which is currently in trouble financially because of this huge pressure. So from many points, many angles, the risky behavior associated with uncultured use and consumption of alcohol is very clear. I just want to check with you, when it comes to the actual research, so are you able to dissect between when, um, you know, when the use of alcohol was contributing to the number of trauma cases versus the fact that there were generally less people on the roads during um, these periods because it was before we had uh, interprovincial travel allowed back online. So, yeah, the, the, the information that we gathered really was about... Um, uh, pressure points in, in health facilities just to check uh, what are the numbers at different points, as I've said. But remember, the consequences of um, alcohol on risky and reckless behavior is not only about accidents. Um, it has got a bearing, for example, on gender-based violence and violence in general. Um, it has got a bearing on, um, you know, just all sorts of uh, difficulties, including undermining uh, social distancing uh, in the period of COVID-19, uh, where people, once they are under the influence of alcohol, they don't do basic health and hygiene, they don't social distance. Some of them uh, don't even wear masks. So. The, the impact of this is not just on accidents, but it's actually on a number of areas. But at the end, all these issues flow into one stream, and that stream is actually health facilities and health workers. And uh, that is one of the difficulties. There's clear evidence about the pressure on the road accident fund. So to that extent, um, I think whilst, of course, there might have not been a uh, um, movement at, uh, at a high rate during the, the alert level, uh, different levels, but the reality of the matter is that there are multiple areas of impact 
that comes out of such conduct and behavior. So, so, so then what would you like to see happen? Because if I'm understanding you correctly, um, it's not just about the number of, of road accidents that have been taking place. And, and I suppose part of the context with which you began the interview was based on what the transport minister had had to say on this matter. So if you're saying, in fact, that the issue is much broader than just the impact on the roads, what would you like to see happen? Well, uh, so the first thing is, uh, so let's, let's I, I wish we could all rally behind what Honorable Minister uh, Fikili Mbaluda said and, and actually call for, uh, you know, the law to come into effect quick and fast. That's, that will be one major intervention. I mean, if you just look at the tragedy that happened, and may I convey my condolences to the families, of the metro police officers who lost their lives in the city of Tswani and made their soul rest in eternal peace. If you just look at that, I think, I think we should all, without any hesitation, agree with the minister that that deterrent is required not later than at any time. We need it right away, right now. Secondly, um, I think, uh, and I was listening to some of the experts in the transport uh, space, and they were saying law enforcement, law enforcement, even if you have the law, you still require um, the police, traffic officers, um, and, and of course law enforcement, the criminal justice system, you still need that to come as an additional multidisciplinary intervention. The third one that we need to look at is if you just compare how as a nation we have done very well compared to the estimates and the forecasts that were done about the number of people that uh, might be infected by COVID-19. And you look at how as a country we managed that and, 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 and the numbers, although they were high, but far from what was estimated. It tells you public education, much more better communication, much more consistent forecast messages that gets right into every household. So public education awareness and campaigns have demonstrated that with COVID-19, it works. And that is the third critical form of intervention that we need. And let me make a call and plea to people that if each one of us were to find it in their conscience and consciousness to do things not because the police are watching, but just out of our own, you know, um, uh, conduct. We just have the capacity for consciousness and alertedness that you don't have to land in a hospital sure. because you were drinking alcohol, but that will be also a good issue. If people just out of their own were to understand this is wrong, it's not supposed to be done, this is right, let's do it, that All will right. also help. All right.